Hello, I'm Nicola from Daisy and Grace and I'm introducing my square quilt as you go templates. Yes, you heard right, squares, how exciting. They don't just do squares, they do half square triangles as well. So keep peeled, there will be another video on the half square triangles, but we're gonna start with the squares. What have we got? I hear you say. We have a five inch square, fabulous. And the inside piece of the five inch square fits on a charm square or quarters of a 10 inch layer cake. Get those layer cakes and charm squares out, you can start using them. That's the five inch. Then we have the lovely three inch and this is a nice shape and guess what? The backing fits on a five inch charm square. So again, get those pre-cuts out and get making. So that's the three. And then we have the lovely little two and a half inch, which is the same as this quilt behind me, this lovely quilt that both my mum, Steph and myself made. All the squares were done by hand using scraps and then I joined them by machine. But isn't this fabulous from using up all your scraps? But you can use mini charms on the center as well. So not just for scraps. Um, so this is really cute as well. So they're the three sizes I have at the moment. And I am gonna show you how to make the five inch square. So first up, I've got my fabric. Um, you can cut it right side, wrong side. You can put lay, layer it up, it's up to you. And normally I just take my outer template place it on the fabric, get my rotary cutter and cut. Now, can you see, I've got fairly little hands. I can't span over that template properly. I haven't got enough downward pressure to keep it in place while I'm cutting, so it's gonna wiggle about. So get your inner square, put it back into your template like that, then hold it, can you see I've got more um, power going down onto that template, which will mean that I can cut the, the template out properly. Now, I don't like cutting um, while I am sat down. So I have pre-cut one of these. So bear with, I'm gonna move that out of the way and grab my little pile of pre-cuts. So I have got the outer piece here and I'm going to place my template back on top of my pre-cut um, outer template and this leaves a recess inside and I've already pre-cut the internal square. So this internal square, I've already pre-cut in wadding and the main fabric. So I'm doing self on self for this square, but you can mix it up. You don't have to have self on self. But these Quilt you to Go templates give you the recess. And this is the key to them because you're going to get this positioned perfectly centrally. Per that's, that was a long winded. It's gonna be perfectly in the center. And then you put your wadding in and then you put your main fabric in and then take a couple of pins and pin that in place like so. Perfect. Then you take your outer template off and I am going to start by the lower edge. I'm going to fold up so that it meets the edge of the wadding and the fabric. And I'm gonna give that a little press with my fingers and roll it over. And then I'm gonna take some other pins and pin that in place. Like so on this larger one, I tend to put a few pins in just to keep it in place. So that's like that. I have one I have prepared earlier so here we go. I pin that edge and that edge. And I normally do this for both hand sewing and machine sewing. So I do both these edges and then I go to the bottom edge. So I again, the, I'll just give that a little press to make sure that these um, bindings are, are perfectly down. And then I turn this edge up to meet the wadding and the main fabric and I'll finger press that. 
then I am going to fold it again. So you can see on this edge here, I've got a little towel poking out. I don't know if you can quite see that, but it's only a little bit. So what I'm going to do is unfold that and just press, finger press, a little triangle in. So that towel, when I fold it over, doesn't exist anymore. Perfect. I'm going to put a pin in there. Like so. Then I come to the centre and I'll put another pin in. And then to the other edge, again, fold it over. And again, I've got a little tiny towel sticking out. So I fold it back, fold a little triangle of the fabric over and pop it back, grab another pin, pop that in. Now, if I was hand sewing, I would just hand sew down there, along there and along there, and then do that bit last. Because I'm going to show you how to machine stitch this, I've prepared one here. And as you can see, I've pinned all the way around the template. And then because these pins are magic, um, they don't melt when you iron them. So I've given that outer edge a good iron so that I, it, it makes it easier when you come to machine stitch it because you've got that definite edge when you machine stitch it. So I'm just gonna get my machine out and I'll show you how I stitch this. So I've got my um, square template ready to go under the sewing machine. But I want to share with you a trick that I, I've come across. My machine, is a little bit temperamental when it comes to these fat edges and especially on starting at the very edge um, it doesn't like it it really doesn't like it so what I tend to do if your machine is fine ignore this top tip but if your machine is like mine start here so start where that binding comes along where you're going to sew that start there, I'll pop that under the machine and I will put my foot down and I will show you. So I'm gonna start about there. So I'm gonna start with the stay stitch or any outy stitch as I always say. I don't know if it is a stay stitch, but I call it an any outy stitch. And did you see how wonderfully that started? And I am sewing about an eighth of an inch, well, not even an eighth of an inch, away from that edge of the binding. So I'm just going to go down and we've got another tricky corner at the end here. So I'm taking my pins out and I come to the edge and I just pop my needle in, lift my presser feet and turn it round. Now this is where my machine is sometimes a little temperamental, yeah. So I'm just gonna wiggle the foot forward a little bit and I'm gonna put my needle down. And we're in the right position to come along this edge. So we'll start again and we'll go along and I'm taking my needles out because it's very expensive if you break a needle. I found out with another sewing machine, I broke a needle. It wasn't by going over a pin actually, but I did break a needle and it was a very expensive repair to my machine. So do beware, don't sew over your pins. And then I've just stopped and I'm taking the needle over so it catches the binding on this edge. I'm going to raise my foot. I'm going to move my pins out of the way, excuse me, and turn it so that I come back on myself along this binding and put my needle in before I run off the edge of the binding. Turn it and hopefully I'm just guiding the machine to get over that lump and take that pin out, just sew down there, take this pin out, and don't forget, you know what, sewing is a pleasure, it's not meant to be a race, it's not meant to be stressful, if you get a bit stressed, stop, I'm just going to move my, stop, go and make a cup of tea and come back to it, 
and it's never as bad it should never be stressful you should always have a bit of fun and feel like you're creating something wonderful which you normally are so I'm just on the home stretch so I'm going down this edge taking my pins out see, see how easy this really is and that last pin I'm going to take out and I am just going to move the needle into that last piece where it's I started and then I'm going to come down and then I'm going to do my any outy stitch at the end like that perfect so I'm going to trim my threads so here we have our finished square trimmed my threads look at that we've done it how easy was that so make sure you subscribe to my channel the half square triangle will be coming up so watch out for that one and i'll see you next time take care